All right, Kim. Um, I just wanted to chat with you a little bit uh, and share, basically share your coaching, uh, your coaching journey. And so you currently are the manager of FitTrack in California, right? And you all have two locations and you manage three coaches, correct? Correct. So way back when you first started, you went through the fitness business accelerator training program. But after that, you transitioned into coaching uh, with me. Lucky you. <laughs> um, but after you went through the fitness business accelerator training, what what about that? Like what triggered in there that made like you all, like you and your leadership team say, you know, we're going to move forward with ongoing, you know, high performance coaching from FR for you. Um, it's just as we went through the um, accelerator training program, there's just small details that we had. And, you know, I was realizing that, you know, throughout the years, um, we've been making it work, but we didn't have a lot of systems in play. So um, in order to like, continue to improve the business like we needed to continue coaching and you know help with systems and other things that we had um missing with the business despite you know being successful and whatnot we just needed to continue to uh get better and no other way than to continue with the coaching right so obviously when you when you say things like that like systems and and um, those aren't things that you can say, okay, today I'm going to work on system one and tomorrow I'm going to work on system two. And by the end of the week, they're all going to be done. So can you just share, you know, how, how we part prioritized what was going to be like your main focus and how that was going to mo most impact fit track. Right. We, uh, we just set quarterly goals, like our, our rocks and our key performance indicators, our KPIs, like set the goals on what we want to focus on for the quarter. And then, you know, it's about accountability from there. Like your coach holds you accountable of what you need to get done. Um, and, you know, does your best of like keeping on track to everybody's business or busy as a business owner. Um, but having a coach, having somebody there that's, you know, holding you accountable of what you said you were going to get done is just huge. And from that, um, you know, I, I mean, I know you're still working on some systems and, you know, we, we encounter various things along the path, but with the systems that you have been able to document, develop and document, and then, uh, share with the team and have everybody follow those, those systems, what have you seen has been like the biggest impact for the business, um, by having, like everybody follows this path versus some of us are doing this and some of us, even though we get to the same, possibly get to the same end point. Yeah, I, I think it's everything. It's just efficiency um, with what we, with all businesses, you just want to be going a straight path for everybody rather than zigging and zagging. So everybody being um, aligned um, with what we need to be doing. Uh, it's just been the efficiency of the business or the and I know too, like not only systems, but, you know, we have talked about developing the team, right? Like you as the leader being in, a, in that role that kind of showcases a little bit of leading by example, but also identifying where the, the team itself, the department needs to grow, but where each person individually needs to grow. So mm -hmm. do you have any like thoughts or insight on how by being able to do that and implement some of those things that it's positively impacted the business? Yeah, I mean, we have a, a, a very young coaching staff. Um, so, uh, you know, it's been good to get them in at, at a young age. It allows us to mold them to the coaches that we want them to be. So just having those systems in play uh, for them, it just allows us to all be on the same page and, um, yeah, I mean, it keeps us like a strong team, one team. We're all on the same, yeah, the same page, to be honest. 
And have you felt like, have you felt like from as a leader uh, for that coaching team that you have evolved yourself and have like approached scenarios either with staffing issues or like training them to work with, with clients type of uh, scenarios? Like, have you seen yourself grow? And if so, how and where? Yeah, I, I definitely have seen myself grow. It's just managing people um, and different personalities is always a challenge. So you have to like approach uh, each person differently. So just, you know, having a coach or having somebody to talk to that could help you with certain situations. Um, and then just having the systems of like, okay, this is what our systems are. You need to be doing it this way. Um, having it all written down in one place. Um, it doesn't allow there to be much deviation from away from what we're supposed to be doing. Um, and it's, yeah, it's just like, yeah, less interpretation and more of like, all right, this is our standard. Mm -hmm. And if you don't mind, I want to do draw in like one very specific, since we are talking about like leadership and, and like your role as a, as a leader to your coaching team, um, you know, uh, not too long ago, you were encountered with almost like a fear based decision of possibly losing a pretty good staff member and wanting to kind of jump in and, and maybe overcompensate. And I know that we talked about that and then you came to a decision to not necessarily do that. But um, from a coaching perspective, you know, if you didn't have coaching, do you think it would have gone differently? Yes, I do. I mean, uh, it's good to have outside perspective on your business to, uh, you know, just ground you every once in a while. You gives you somebody to like bounce ideas off of and also see if you're making the right decision. Give you somebody that gives you a different perspective, like, well, possibly think about it this way, you know, versus just like making a rash decision. And sometimes that might not be the best for the business. And I actually liked how you just worded that, you know, think about it this way. So it's not like when we have a coaching session, I'm saying, oh, no, no, you need to do this. It's Correct. here's a couple scenarios or you you come with a scenario. All right. A couple clarifying questions. Here's a couple of potential outcomes. Which one is the best or the most likely to set the business up for success? And then you are making the decision um, that either you make because it's your department or that you take back to leadership team and discuss together. Right. Correct. Yeah. It's just good to have like coach talk you through different possibilities, you know, like what your coach would do might not be what, uh, you end up doing, but, <laughs> yeah. but you know, it is good to have somebody that's talking you through like other scenarios that you might not be thinking of yourself. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. I, I totally agree with you. Um, so, I mean, like we started this whole conversation, the, you know, I, systems are always going to be evolving and particularly as things change and you add software and processes and, and, and the business itself grows. But outside of systems, what uh, can you tell us like what you're working on now like in this evolution of your leadership role? Yeah, so now our our big thing that we're working on is really our client care and our retention. Um, I mean, retention is seems like it's been a an issue for a long time now. So we just gotta um, using our software anomaly that we just got attached to. We're using that to use our client care, client relations, um, and working on that to help our retention. Awesome, awesome. So kind of comes full circle. Absolutely. Full circle. So I know most people probably think about coaching from the perspective of like needing to be the business owner or business partner. But I think you have a really unique perspective because you're on a leadership team and a manager um, and, you know, your role is director of operations. So can you just, you know, say a few words about how like how beneficial it is for someone who is like you and in, in we'll call higher level management in a fitness business and it doesn't necessarily have to be just owner driven 
Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's helpful to uh, be able to kind of be on the ground and know what's going on a little bit deeper in certain spots um, to be able to bring that to your coach, uh, talk to it more in depth, and then having a leadership team. There's four of us on our leadership team bringing what we talk about back to the team and then all of us, you know, pulling out what we want to do for the business. Um, it's, it's just important to, you know, on both ends for me as from a development of myself um, as the director and operations, and then also just the business, like, okay, here's another outside perspective that we might not be seeing. Um, four brains is always more, but having a fifth with our coach is always, yeah. you know, better off as well. Somebody that's not inside the business that I could, okay, here's what's going on, tell details um, about it, like, and then get a different perspective. So can you, and this, this might just like, this just came to me, but um, so if you're not sure about the answer on this one, that's fine. But so five brains, five perspectives, you know, feels better than having, you know, one or two or even four. How is that different than that saying where people are like, there's too many chefs in the kitchen? Yeah, that's, that's a, that's a good question. Um, for, for us, uh, I think we all have our like strong suits on what we um, do well and we kind of like balance each other well. Um, you know, there's, you know, we have our departments that each uh, person in our leadership team is responsible for. So that allows us to also like, okay, I'm taking control of this part of what the business is doing. Um, and then you, we come together, um, talk about what is going on and, you know, people, our team, we just work together to figure out what's best for the business. Gotcha. Cool. I've got kind of assumed or figured, but I just wanted some, wanted to draw some clarity to that one. All yeah. right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate your insight, um, your words, uh, and your perspective in the, on the coaching process. Um, I mean, you know that I love working with you, so it's, yeah, great. Absolutely. it's great. It's great to hear it from your words on that side. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Ken. Right. Yep. Absolutely. Thank you, Pamela.